my God. The fire of God is very strong. Some of you, when you leave this meeting, you will say, I want to stop praying. You cannot. Because the reason why you cannot is that the time is short. God needs to do a quick work in righteousness. And any time God wants to move in a generation, he begins to look for the youth. Are you getting what I'm saying? Pay the price now. I know they sometimes tell you that you are young. That no, it's now that you are young. Not when your ways cannot shift. It's now that you can fast. Pray fast as much as you can. Pray as much as you can. A day will come you will draw from that bank. And in case God called you, if you don't fast now, you will fast later. If you don't pray now, you will pray with, with Mama and Kechi and Mama Chichi. You will carry two children, four like this. But you will still pray. The Bible said, we have received a kingdom that cannot be moved. He said, we receive grace. It means that if God set this standard for us, he will not shift it. What he will do is to give us grace to measure up. So what will now happen? Are you getting what I'm saying? For God to make sure that Mama Chichi measures up to what it takes, it might make bad things to happen in your family. Because you refuse to pray since. Once that bad thing happens, why am I saying bad thing? Okay, good thing will happen in Jesus' name. Unfortunately, I can only pray God is the one that answers. And I, I can tell you confidently that he will not answer this kind of prayer for all of you. Mm, you need to suffer because Jesus suffered. Suffering is the way to glory in this kingdom. So a man that has not, a young lady that didn't yield on time and, and married, and then after five, ten years, you now have three, four. The calling, just because you married, did not remove the calling. Just because you married, it did not remove the price for the calling. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You know? uh -huh. So by that time, you will now is and your mm. so things will become hard. You begin to pray, not because you love God. Are you getting the point? But because you want to break out of this, it is when you are now praying. The prophetic gift you had when you were a sister will now come back. The grace of evangelism you, you use it will now. By the time all of them will come back, even if God gives you back that money, you will not know. You will not know the taste. Because what God is looking for is not to give you things. It is it's called, called the wooing of the spirit. God woos us. Hi! Songs of songs. Chapter 1 verse 3 said, Draw me and we will run after you. That means anytime God woos a man, there is a generation in view. So God woos you because all these people, when he has successfully drawn one man, a generation will follow so I need you to know that even if you don't want to become anything in God for the sake of a generation, for the sake of your family at least, you need to join in Togo where you can stand and they will say from the day, just like they said from the day of John the Baptist. Huh? That means John the Baptist has become an omen. He has become a mark in the spirit. He has stamped his, his feet in, in the archives of events. And you cannot, it's just like that roundabout there you cannot come around here without speaking about the roundabout do you know why the roundabout has put himself in the middle of this town just because you don't like that roundabout doesn't mean you will not pass it okay okay i don't like the round i was asking my brother when we were, i told him when the whole hold up all kinds of things from from me we hold up till i came bad road so i asked him is there no other way he said, there is no other way from Nobu to Agra. I don't know if there is. A, he said, there is no other way. Just because I don't like the road. Are you getting the point? Does not mean I will not pass. Because that road is, he has become a stamp in the spirit. Are you getting the point? John, from the day of John. John is such a man that including Jesus followed and joined. Who is John? I want you to become that kind of man. Eh? You become such a man that I might not know whom God will use finally, but I know that the person has to pass through my lane. Has to pass through my... That was the man, John. He didn't bother to be... He went to the wilderness and stayed there. He was just doing his... You know that including Messiah will come to the wilderness. <laughs> Get something. Have something. Where you are doesn't matter. Where you are doesn't matter. 
I traveled abroad. I went the people said they are watching me. They are watching me from they are watching me at they said, Where are you? And when someone came from US and came and said, Is he is this where you are? I said, This, this is where I am. The reason is because if there is fire, eh? even if they hide the fire inside, imagine if you hide fire inside them. Oh, no, don't worry. It's a matter of time. The fire will open. You, you are the one that will open the door by yourself. Because the fire will burn. And men will come and see the fire burning. I enjoin you today to yield to Jesus and cook yourself and be ready to be used. Make a decision. I don't know about others, but for me, because of me, a generation will be saved. And that is how God deals with people. There are many people, but you notice that he came to you on one on one. Don't just be saying we are many. God is calling all of us. Finally, when he comes down to the basic, he will speak to you one on one. Are you listening to me? If you're with me, say amen.